Welcome to the Low Res Life. My name is Jason, and this is Completionist Jim, the series where I disappoint my parents by depriving them of the grandchildren they so desperately desire, and instead, I devote all my time and energy into doing the impossible, beating RuneScape. The main focus of this episode is going to be finishing Muspa, as well as my achievement diaries. I want that achievement diary cape, but... The Combat Achievement Diaries just released for Mr. Scurrius, wherever he is. And uh, I took a look at these, and this should be completable in one kill. Sit Rat, just Rat Bane Weapon, which we got. Perfect Scurrius, which most kills are perfect. And uh, Efficient Pest Control, I got a Denny B. So I'm going to go complete all these in one quick attempt. Denny B spec, kills them all real quick. Will be one CA complete. Oh, and we complete it right then and there. Nice. And that right there should be the final two. Yeah, sit rat and perfect scurrious. Easy peasy, fellas. That is now scurrious. Complete on the combat achievement diaries. I'll be doing plenty more Scurrious kills in the future just because I do want to max out my melee stats on Scurrious, considering how good the XP per hour is there. Plus, that's a really cool looking pet. So I'll at some point I will be heavily grinding out Scurrious. Um maybe a little bit in this episode, but most of it will be uh, in future episodes. Well, I've been chasing uh, a sub two minute kill here for a little while. Just got a new PB, 216. Getting closer and closer to that CA, but not quite there. And uh, I'm still absolutely god awful on the step back method. I have not gotten that down at all. Well, I just swapped back to Ancients, and I was freezing the whole time, and that right there is a Grandmaster task done. Phantom Muspa Manipulator. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I felt, I, th I thought I was going to have to do the step back method the whole time while I was doing that uh, CA, but no, it's actually so much easier to just freeze. It's so much easier to just freeze it. Um, so now the only CAs that I have for Muspa are the Speed Tasks and the Salamander. So after this uh, trip, I'll start gearing up to go... Uh, or I won't start gearing up. I'll, I'll go pick up a Black Salamander and then uh, we'll try to send that task as well. And then once it's down to just the Speed Trialist tasks, it's like... Um, it's pretty much just RNG. I think with my current gear setup, I could do a 2 minute kill. I'm almost positive I cannot do a 1 minute 30 second kill until I have, I don't know, maybe Ebo Masori and Full Ancestral with the Shadow. Uh, also probably, I'm thinking you can probably um, skip the Corrupted phase with a Web Weaver Bow. We do have a Web Weaver Bow as a group, but um, it's still going to be like a, a crazy RNG thing. Got to hit. Okie dokie, this is my setup. <laughs> this is my loadout for the Salamander kill. This is my best uh, range accuracy gear. We do have an Armadale chest plate, so we could technically fortify this Masori, but um, it's it's not my Armadale chest plate to use. It's my buddy Junior's, and he wants to wait to have the full set to go and then do all the fortification. So uh, I'm going to respect his wishes, and I'm just going to rock this for now. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be probably gonna take a couple attempts given the fact that i still don't really have the step back method down i'm gonna be learning for damn sure during this method because uh it's nothing but step backs it, i have one range uh attack style here with this uh with this salamander so it's nothing but step backs i can't freeze i can't use thralls i can't use recoils nothing here we go you know, it has been a long kill for sure, but I think this was actually super beneficial to me learning the step back method because it really forced the issue, you know, and uh, I don't know. I felt like the timing was significantly easier this way, but I think it's going to be easier for me in the future doing thrall methods and uh, speed running. So we shall see. But yeah, this is 
the salamander only kill everything in phantom muspa as far as the cas is now complete except for the speed runs which uh you know those are gonna have to come with time gear upgrades and all that i still think we can get under a two minute kill so i'll be chasing that for a little while but all the other cas are done feels good man And with that then, death animation, well, oh, that was actually a good loot right there. That is 300 Phantom Muspa kills. Um, I'm still only sitting at, what is it, two shards. So I got kind of spooned on the first two, but now, now we're a little bit dry on the third. Um, I should have officially seen the third at this point, but I have not... But in the past, <clears throat> what is it, 50 KC or so, I've gotten five elite clues. And the drop rate of an elite clue is a 1 in 50. So I've gotten five times the amount of elite clues that I should have. That's kind of, that's cool. That's something. And with that, we have taken our first step towards the Karamja Elite Diaries. 88 rune crafting. Only, what, three more levels to go? We're sitting at uh, 776 total rewards that we're just stockpiling up. And we're going to continue doing so until we got our 91. We have done 300 Phantom Muspa kills using the Whis teleport in the POH. But now that I've done Desert Treasure 2, I'm going to come and I'm going to kill Duke Succulus up until I get the uh, teleport. Just for that little quality of life, it'll save us maybe like 15 to 20 seconds per uh, per run. So here we go, Dukey boy, and uh, time to learn a new boss. Well, that was a terrible first kill, but there is Duke Succulus Adept. <laughs> Five minute kill. I used pretty much all of my food. I I tank so much damage. It was it was really bad. It was really, really bad. But you know, it, it only gets better from here, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> well that oh my gosh, a chromium ingot already? Eight kills in? Okay. That was easily my best trip yet. That was what, five kills in a trip, I think, maybe four. Um I'm I'm still pretty bad at it. I'm not getting the timing down very well. I'm not uh, I'm not getting in that like extra attack when the when the eyeball comes up. Uh, I'm just kind of playing it safe. Especially during like the prep phase, I keep eating these <laughs> events that just pop up um kind of unpredictably, but you know, we're we're making progress. We're getting better. 8 kills in. We already got a chromium ingot. Hell yeah, dude. That was a really fast kill. Definitely a PB. 246 nowhere near the ca tasks or anything like that but probably my best kill so far so i'm happy with it okay my first awakener's orb sitting at 17 kc all right all right not too shabby uh how do you make sure you don't use it i have no idea oh well oh my god 45 runite or does that was that a perfect kill is that a perfect kill i don't know i don't know what the thresholds are i want to look it up real quick yeah that was my first perfect i think i think that was my first actual perfect i don't know what the difference was from the one that i thought was a perfect kill earlier though because i'm pretty sure i didn't take any damage that kill either oh well regardless doing better every time learning and growing baby and there it is 24 kc i think that's one off of drop rate but the fact that we also got an awakener's orb and a chromium ingot in that 25 kills or 24 kills i should say uh phenomenal that's great it's better than i ever could have expected but uh we're done at duke for the foreseeable future because that gives us our teleport closer to phantom moose but and that is the main grind right now and I don't know exactly how we do this, but I'm going to try to use it on the ring. And yep, that is how it works. All right, then we click on teleport. Go to, is it Gorok Dungeon or the Ancient Vault? I would assume it's the Gorok Dungeon. Yeah, look at how much closer we are. That saves us like 15 seconds per uh, per inventory whenever we go Muspa, which uh, in the short term, it doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're doing... 
hundreds of inventories. It it goes pretty far. What the hell is that drop, dude? What? 500k in one kill? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. What? So every time I get the KBD Elite Clue Step, I just send a whole inventory. Uh, last time I was here and I did an Elite Clue Step, I think I did like 15, 17 kills, something like that. We, we could check right now. I did 13 last time I was here, and that's KC number 14 for the video. I'll be staying here for the whole inventory, though, so we'll probably get another dozen kills or so. All right, I left one bone on the ground, so it looks like we did, what, 14 kills? Exactly the same that we did last time. Nice, not too shabby. And we got an elite clue. We've actually gotten a ton of elite clues off of Phantom Uspa now. <laughs> We've got a ton of them. Uh, in 61 kills, I've gotten six of them, which means we're averaging a 1 in 10 for elite clues at Phantom Muspa. <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, and that brings us up to 36 total elite caskets sitting in the bank. We have more elites than we do mediums now, which is sad. But I do have... 2,500 eclectic implings, which is about 100 medium clues stacked up. Um, I don't know when I'm going to open all these. I'm just kind of saving them for a rainy day, you know? Trying to get all of the uh, master clue items before I go and I open these. But at the same time, I'm still missing clue items. Uh, flared trousers and bandos chest plate from uh, Easy's and Hard's, respectively. I think are the only two clue items I'm missing. But then I'm missing, like, the Zami. Um, God Sword and uh, the Bryophyta staff, and there, there's a couple things that I'm missing. So we're we're waiting for a while. Plus, I'm just you know stacking them up. Feels good. God fucking cock sucking. God damn it. How come? Ah, oh, so much more rare than the actual armor drops. All I've gotten from Kree is three different God Sword. Shows. Oh, the Arma Helmet. Now, now you're lucky, brother. <laughs> oh, man. We were just talking about, it would be so nice to go all three, no dupes, and we get a dupe. Yeah. God Sword Shard 2 off of a minion. I think that's actually our first shard drop off of a minion here in quite a while. I got I I know I got two from the boss last last session. He didn't expect that, but I got perfect scabberous there. <laughs> oh, oh so rough. But you know, first raid back to the main game. I don't have a whole lot of I don't have a lot of expert mode KC on the main game. Did a lot on leagues, though. Walking all the way up. Milking. Ah, sipping ya. It's a fucking white. I do believe that is my kill, which will bring me up to 800. Yeah, 800 total KC at the Bandos man. Back to back uncut sapphires is kind of annoying. That is that is really annoying, actually. I'm. I was unaffected by the first. The second one tilted me just barely. Right, the solo melee kill after Zach Telly's uh coal for fucking Christmas, brother. Good luck, fellas. Uh six man raid. Twelve point six nine percent, and we still get a white, bro. And this right here should bring us. 
to 89 rune crafting oh you guys this has been such a slog it's been about 10 hours since the last rune crafting clip i'm sitting at about uh i'm sitting at about 1030 pulls from the rewards chest right now i still got another two levels to go it's gonna end up being another like 20 or so hours uh Especially since I do, oh, I missed the telly. I'm just, I'm just bad. Uh, especially since uh, I do most of my rune crafting while I'm at work, it's at like half efficiency anyway, and uh, it's, it's been a long grind. We've done something like 400 kills, 413 KC is what we have at Guardians of the Rift right now, and uh, oh, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Oh, my God, it's been rough. I'm going a little bit stir crazy. Phantom Muspa is not helping. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's that's RuneScape. Sometimes you gotta do some grinds you don't want to do. My god, the Void Waker Blade! Get the hell out of here, dude! Oh my goodness, dude. That, is that his second blade? That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> he, he, you have like, what? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's using my bludgeon to get these drops, too. I'm being the nice guy sitting out here with the fucking skilling weapon. No fucking way, dude. That, that, the, what? Dude, that's, that's your th third blade and you ah, oh, dude that's what like two or three kills separate from the one that you just got no way did we do 10 kills in between his last one that was maybe five yeah that's crazy dude spent Almost all of my money on runes for my Tumican Shadow. So, decided to come start alking all of the stuff that I've been getting from, you know, CG, uh, Phantom Muspa, all that stuff. Uh, I don't alk the dragon items. I only alk the runes and stuff. Uh, but that right there is 500 KC. And a dragon pickaxe <laughs> from my group member at Ardio. <laughs> hey, no skipping allowed. Easy CA. <laughs> Z-White. Good luck, fellas. Alright, 10.25%. We got a combat task. Uh, I am now picking up the pots, resetting, and we're going to find a new rig. Good luck, boys. We're doomed. Oh, wait. 10% Fleet Clue! And with the end of that game, I'm finally 90 rune crafting. One more level to go. That was about 8 hours past the last rune crafting clip you saw, and it's like, they're not all efficient hours, okay? There's a lot of time spent just like standing here waiting for a game to start because I play so much of this while I'm at work, and it's just. Uh, it's wild, man. It's it's a grueling grind, honestly, but uh, we're almost done and uh, looking forward to being out of here and finally picking up all of these rewards. Almost 1,300. Oh, I just got lucky. Torn prayer scroll. Well, it was death. I know. Uh, it was deathless up until I got ball and I just wasn't paying enough attention. I should have lived ball, but I died. Oh, well. Oh, this is my best trade so far. You know, pair, pair of dragon boots, always good to see <laughs> when you're getting that kiki's.
first kill in. All right, we got five EQ keys chilling in the bank. Probably not going to send all five of them in this one session, but I'm feeling lucky. Right now we're sitting at 224 total KC. I got nothing on the collection log. I think today's my day. Junior! I got the Arvidale helmet off the fucking menu, dude! Ah. Uh... <laughs> You were calling for the minion drop. I got it, bro. <laughs> you hit the wrong. It's the wrong piece, brother. Oh, that's. Hey, hold on. We got to go back to back. You have it? Did you prayer flick it? Ah, oh, come on. You can prayer flick it. Ah, uh, you punk. You punk. Just stay and freeze. Freeze the minion for me. No. <laughs> uh, that's great. <laughs> that's so dumb, dude. <laughs> I I'm excited about it. Fine, fucking Lee. Not even off the boss, though. Fucking flock leader. Eren. All right, the back to back is a solo rune arrows. All right, <laughs> I'm just now looking at the drop rate one in sixteen thousand one hundred and twenty nine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness! Uh, well, fucking long bone on the first kill here. I told you today's my lucky day. It's going to happen, Zach. Well, you guys, in the past two months, I've spent nearly 50 hours here at Guardians of the Rift. This episode alone, I've spent almost 20 to 25. And right there is 91 runecrafting, the goal I've been chasing this entire time. I can now do the Karamja Elite Diaries. It has me so fucking excited, but even more than that, I now have 1,564 rewards to pull from Guardians of the Rift. Now, there's a couple things that I gotta go that I gotta go over before we do that. Let's look at the collection log real quick. For Guardians of the Rift, I have the entire outfit, which I got in uh, 578 pulls. Um, I also have the talisman and the needle. I have the colossal pouch. I have my lantern, but I still don't have the lost bag or the tarnished locket, both of which I believe we get from the intricate pouch. Uh, the ring of the elements, I think, is a buyable. Uh, the guardian's eye is a buyable. The, uh, the, the dies, I don't have any of them. They're, I think, like 1 in 1,200, 1,500, something like that. Uh, and then we got the abyssal protector. That's 1 in uh, 4,000, I believe, so... We're going to end about half the drop rate of the pet, but I'm hoping that we can get the Tarnish Locket and Ring of the Elements because those are going to give us good teleports for clue scrolls and things like that. And then also the Lost Bag just because, you know, it's a it's a collection log. The Abyssal Dives would be really cool if I could get at least one. I'd be happy. Um, and other, another thing that I want to touch on before I start opening these is the fact that I actually have a collection of talismans in my bank uh the nature's talismans are like the the primo collectible because that's rare drop table um there's only a couple mobs that actually drop it as like a common drop but um so i i know it's gonna take a lot longer to open everything but i am going to be depositing and saving all of the talismans that i get throughout this grind so without further ado putting everything away it is time for us to pull almost 1600 rewards keeping my fingers crossed i'll i'll i'll, I'll speak to you guys soon <laughs> i'm so excited
Oh, fuck! There's my fucking blue die. Collection log slot completed. Oh, I just got an, uh, an Abyssal Lantern. Since I already have one, I'll be selling those back for 100 Abyssal Pearls. I did this once with Temporas and it took absolutely forever. I had like 1,500, almost 2,000 pulls. Yeah, it was, it was a long time. <laughs> I got a second Abyssal Blue die. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not a collection log slot, but it's one more piece towards a recolor. red dye okay there's only one more color to go for the collection one. and i have enough uh dyes for the whole outfit now so i can recolor everything No way. Dude, I thought you were trolling me. I'm on Discord and Zach was like, no, you got something while you were gone. I'm wearing fucking wireless headphones. I could hear him. I'm like, nah, he's trolling. Got the green die. Finished the collection log for the dies. here with your crystal crown looking all cool now how many revenants I'm gonna have to kill in order to buy that <laughs> Ooh, I got my second abyssal lantern okay that's an extra 200 abyssal pearls I got hanging out I start banking these for now because taking up extra space a lantern that's three for this hole there are 100 of us pearls Ooh, another abyssal lantern another hundred of us pearls
What did I get? Oh, I got the pet, dude! I got the pet! Let's fucking go! <laughs> yes, dude. Holy shit, what an ugly looking pet. <laughs> what an ugly little fucker. <laughs> little triangle pyramid head. Little cosmic trip of insignificance. Hell yeah, dude. Abyssal protector. What pet number is that? Yeah, all we need now is the two uh, intricate pouch items, the guardian's eye and the ring of elements. That's pet number... Pet number seven. Fuck yeah. We keep on going. I figured rather than make you watch me pull another 320 pulls in fast forward motion, we can just skip to the end now. We got the pet, right? Um, done. 3,500 abyssal pearls. After I sell these abyssal lanterns, it'll be almost 4,000. Got like 10,000 of all the major runes and like 20,000 of all the elemental runes. Pretty good. We got what five different dies. We got a pet. Fifty-six intricate pouches. Far more than I ever could have asked for. Uh I'm gonna sell all my abyssal lanterns. Wait, how do I do this? Talk to them. Alright, we sold all the lanterns, sitting at almost four thousand. I'm gonna change my outfit real quick. Oh, I gotta go get my hat as well. Yeah, I'm making everything blue. I'm gonna change this red into a blue. Ace. Hey, there we go. The blue boys are in the chat. Fuck yes. So, I'm gonna also keep the green dyes in here just as a little bit of a trophy. I'm gonna deposit everything. Uh, overall, we're sitting at, ooh, 4,100 pearls. Let me see. What is this valued at? Sit at 3,000. I could buy the Guardian's Eye. Okay. I didn't think I could buy the Guardian's Eye. I could buy it. And I can buy the Ring of Elements. Yes, dude. That's two collection log slots? Two collection log slots right there. Okay. Now it's time to start opening our, uh... We'll just put that in the teleport for now. I'll charge it later. I don't know how to do it right now. Uh, it's time to start opening these guys, the intricate pouches. I'm going to be getting clue scrolls from them, and hopefully I'm going to get my last two collection log slots from Guardians of the Rift. Ooh, okay. Hard clue. Dragon Spear and a Hard Clue in the same pouch? What the fuck? Hey, what's the drop rate for a Dragon Spear out of these things? 1 in 45. Looking for the Tarnished Locket, a 1 in 40, and a Lost Bag, a 1 in 60. Get pouches. Oh, a shield left half and another hard clue. Damn. Getting all the rare drop tables stuff. Alright, another hard clue down. More pouches to open. The hard clue. Damn, dude. Getting a lot of hard clues from these. Hard clues down. More inch pouches. Hard clue. Okay. Oh, I got the Tarnished Locket! Fuck yes, dude! Okay, I'm glad I misclicked one past the hard clue. Now we got the Tarnished Locket. Only one more collection log slot from Guardians of the Rift. Is that right? Only one more. It's the Lost Bag. We could green log this tonight, dude! They're 10. Okay, get another hard clue. Another hard clue. Another hard clue, I guess. <laughs> Lost bag would be perfect though. Give us a green log. Lamp. Alright, some XP. 
Ooh, do we get through a full 10 with no hard clue? I'm actually excited about that. I don't want to do any more hard clues right now. Excuse me. Oh, I can't. Bit agility. Another 10. We only have 16 pouches to go. Oh, another hard clue on the first one. Okay, 15 pouches. Another hard clue. Here we go. All right, another 10 intricate pouches. Give me my lost bag. Fuck, I want it. Oh, another hard clue. Okie dokie, the final seven intricate pouches. Can we get the lost bag? Please, I just want a green log. Please. Oh, no, I got to go back to Guardians of the Rift for intricate pouches, bro. I mean, I guess all of the fucking uh, dyes and outfits over time, but it's like, it's the intricate pouches that are keeping me locked in there. Regardless, we completed our goal. It's going to be a long time before we go back to Guardians of the Rift. Let me go finish the Karamcha Diary. And I got a little uh, special treat in the door. Oh, and this right here is the conclusion of a saga. The Guardians of the Rift saga is done. All of that stupid skilling. All of the Guardians of the Rift. It's all for this. The Karamja Elite Diary is completed. Let's go and turn this bad boy in. And then all we have left is Phantom Muspa. Three more shards. We get the Venator bow, and then we can go get our level 5 in all... What are they called? What's this minigame called? Barbarian Assault. Then we can go get level 5 in all Barbarian Assault rolls, and then we're done. We're done with the Achievement Cape. Something that I've never done on RuneScape before, even on my main. I got really close. My main has a higher total level than this account, but it does not have a completed Achievement Diary Cape. I think it's actually waiting on the Western Province. I'm pretty sure I didn't do my Chompy kills on that account. But, regardless, we're not talking about that account anymore. We're talking about this account, and this account is a fucking beast, brother. Ah, uh, here we are, talking to Jackie the Fruit. Getting our Karanja Gloves 4, feeling good about them. Now we can teleport directly to Duradel. Saving us countless seconds every time we change Slayer tasks. And we've got this antique lamp, which for quite a while now, I've been putting all of my lamps on agility. And that's because I am damn close to 99 herb lore. And you know what? I think it's time to cash in that special little treat I've been saving. And with this small inventory of range pots, we shall complete one of the most coveted 99s of all of Iron Man RuneScape, 99 Herblore. Now this is the epitome of Iron Man gaming. It took me something like almost 30 million farming XP to do this. This took me four thousand hours of gameplay all the other 99s they can just kind of be grinded out you can just kind of do them maybe that take 200 300 hours to complete but herb lore takes significantly longer because you can only get maybe 10,000 herb lore xp for every three hours of gameplay thanks daily scape thanks farm runs Honestly, I love my farming runs. It gives me a lot of structure to my RuneScape gameplay. I start and I end every day on RuneScape with a farming run, and it pays off. It pays off. 99 herb lore. We got our fucking herb lore cape to top off the Guardians of the Rift grind. And that also brings us up to 2,175 total level you guys this is fantastic it's a terrible 99 emote not gonna lie it's a terrible emote make a little potion garbage let's be honest garbage the air guitar is significantly better but <laughs> 
But it's like, RuneScape to me is all about the marshmallow test, right? Like, we've all heard of the psychological experiment of presenting a marshmallow to a child and saying, hey, you can either have this one marshmallow now, or you can wait 30 minutes and you can have two marshmallows. RuneScape to me is the ultimate marshmallow test. Guardians of the Rift was irrefutable evidence that I passed the marshmallow test. I can delay my gratification. And herb lore is delayed gratification at its finest. 4,000 hours later. How, how many days do we have played? 209 days, 22 hours. I don't know what that is exactly. We're closing in on 5,000. And 99 herb lore has been achieved. Ah! I'm ecstatic, dude. Well, doesn't look like I'm raiding tonight. All my friends are all wishy-washy. So, Lumberge Guide, hello. Turn my amulet to other things. All right, now I have the amulet of the eye. Beautiful. Let's teleport real quick. Oh, it's so convenient. I'm here. I'm at Guardians of the Rift. No more need to wait around for the fucking, uh, what's it called? The minigame telly. Now I just got a teleport straight here. Now I got this here Ring of the Elements. Let's charge it up the full 10,000 charges. Let's go. Now we rub it. We can go to any of the altars, which is really nice for things like easy clues and medium clues because there's a number of steps down in the Lubrin Lumbridge Swamp area, which is the water altar. Right down here, beautiful spot for this clue step over here, as well as this clue step uh, over, over in these directions. Very nice to have. Will I ever use it for rune crafting? Probably not, but I'll definitely use it for clue scrolls. All right, fellas, it's only a one in ten. Come on, it's a lucky day. Oh, I... ah, my first fucking deathless all the way through. Good luck, feelers. Never looky. Oh, uh, good job, fellas. It was a true deathless, right? Oh my god, dude! I got a. It's my purple. Holy shit, Junior! I beat you to the first purple. <laughs> Let's go. What do I get? A verdict, yes! That's exactly what I wanted. I'm done. You guys can... <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with Tob forever now. You guys can go for the scythe. I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Avernic Hill, dude. Let's go! Oh, sir. Hey, Darian with the purple. Too bad it was one raid off. <laughs> oh, ooh! Back to back, back to oh. Oh, that was a new PB though. At least for me. It is officially Friday night. I pretty much haven't played RuneScape throughout most of the week besides, like, you know, a couple of birdhouse runs, some farming runs, and, like, AFK mining. Uh, it's been a bit of a hell week at work. Had a lot going on. So, not a whole lot of progress has been made, but this right here... No! No, wait! <laughs> I have nine! I have nine XP remaining. Oh, no. Hold on. We gotta go catch an Irby boar real quick or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I totally forgot that you actually get herbivore. You get her. No, you get hunter XP for just like searching the tunnels. I got it. I missed the recording, <laughs> but I got my ninety-one hunter. 
God damn it. I mean, I might as well finish this, uh, this herbivore KC, right? Because th this is clearly going to be the one. This is going to be the pet right here. It has to be. It's actually my first ever herbivore KC on this account. I did not realize that. That's crazy. Oh, we got a tour still during it, too. Yo, 99 herb lore coming in clutch. Good, good herbs. Darian. Hell yeah. <laughs> Money. Dude, I just got 97 attack. One place to get it. Good luck, fellas. Wait. As you guys have seen, I have been doing a, a a reasonable amount of TOB, which means I've been using a lot of Zolra shards between my Magma Helm and my Blowpipe. So I'm pretty much out of scales. I haven't done Zolra in probably six months or longer. Um, right now, we are sitting at everything in the collection log except for the Tanzanite mutagen, and I have 900 kills. Uh, I want to get a <clears throat> excuse me. I want to get a thousand kills this episode, uh, just for the scales. If I get any duplicate Tans fangs, I'm going to be saving them, and I'll use them at revs. Um, that way, like, I have something that I'm willing to lose, but it's still, like, a decent weapon. If I get any magic fangs, uh, there's, there's no reason to really keep any extras of those, so I'll just be breaking those down into scales. Uh, I think we might still need a Serp Visage. I, I think we need at least one Serp Visage for the team, for all five of us to have one, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get on going. Well, first kill in felt really good. That was uh, a minute and ten seconds. I do use the Zora Helper plugin at least to get going. That way, I uh, you know re remember what the rotations look like. Kind of, kind of need that help at least to start. Holy shit! We got another PB one minute, and honestly, I'm not even trying. If I were trying harder, I would bring. Um, I gotta go bank. I would bring Spellbook Swap on the Lunar Spellbook with Vengeance, and I would Spellbook Swap to Thralls, because that is an option. Um, it's probably something I'll end up doing maybe relatively soon. We'll see. I don't think I can beat the Grandmaster time. Let's, oh, let me look at the CAs. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't bring beat the Grandmaster time, but I can beat the Master time. I also need to do perfect Zolra, but that really just comes down to me um, killing Snakelings and not taking any damage, you know, which is kind of annoying. But uh, kill Zolra in less than one minute. We were one tick away from this CA, so we're definitely just getting the CA passively without even trying. And then the other one is 54 seconds, so that's, that's like Tebow territory. Or I think I could bypass Tebow if I have full Ancestral with the Shadow. But, uh, you know, we're gaming. Making progress. Oh, yes, I did it. The Solra Speed Chaser. 59 seconds. God damn it, dude. <laughs> A fourth. Why is that the only thing we can get, dude? <laughs> oh, damn it. Junior! Oh my god, dude. How how are we getting so unlucky and yet lucky at the same time? <laughs> oh, the fucking hell. Well, at least we have enough uh, blades to make it. We could just have it sitting around. <laughs> dude, when we go into the wildy, we could have two people anti-PKing. <laughs> Good luck, fellas. Oh, wait. Good luck. Wait. <laughs> Another torn prayer scroll for Zach. Bummer. Well, it's a new day, and I figured might as well go and uh, make this Armadil God Sword that we got last night. 
the hilt on the sword, and there we go. A G S. Absolutely useless. <laughs> like we're never really gonna use this anywhere. I guess you could like anti PK with it, like. But honestly, we have a Void Waker, so if we if we really wanted to anti PK, we would use that. You know. Now we have at least one of. These three god swords. We still need the Zami and the what is it? Ancient ancient god sword. Uh neither of those are really worthwhile either. Uh you could, I guess, use the Zami God Sword at like uh chambers, you know, for Mutadial or something like that, but ultimately it's it's not really that worthwhile. Oh no fucking way, dude! Out of all of the items I'm about to die to, out of all of the items to fucking get as my first, god damn it. <laughs> I guess, but this is my first drop from the boss. The helmet was a minion drop. Oh, another god sword shard. Let's get enough god sword shards in this one trip. And make another sword. Uh, three hundred KC. All I got to show for it is this stupid little stick. Well, we got the armor hilt, right? Might as well make the god sword. <laughs> hey, I got perfect Zora. Bit of a pain in the ass killing the uh little snakelings to get it, but I got it. Got a new PB without trying? 56 seconds? Wait. Okay, I thought I was gonna go the whole 100 kills without getting anything. The uncut onyx, uh, probably the least useful thing that I could get. But, thankfully, uh, we actually do still need some Zenite shards. My buddy Tita, my buddy Pukli. Uh, he still needs his Zenites, so that'll most likely just end up going to him, and it'll save him some money and some time uh, selling Chaos Runes. And with the end of that kill, that brings us to 1,000 KC. 100 kills for the episode. Here's a look at what we got for the 100 kills. Uh, the only reason we really came here was for the Zora scales, because I was... I was begging for scales <laughs> from my uh, teammates, and I was, it was bad. I was using a lot at TOB, so this will give us a good little bit of wiggle room at TOB. Uh, the battle staves are going to be really nice, because I have a lot of charged orbs from Phantom Muspa, like that. Uh, we got some Toad Flax seeds, and you know, just some, some general uh, resources, herbs, mantas, Pretty good all around. The Uncut Onyx might come in handy whenever uh, Pookley goes back to Demonic Gorillas. But that is it for Zora for now. Well, that is the first time I've ever seen that drop. That is a double Toad Flax drop. That's actually awesome. <laughs> that is great. You gotta love Phantom Muspa. Oh, I got a CA. Better get moving. I don't even know what that was. Zoomy, 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 zoomy. All right, here we go. Control walking. <laughs> uh, I was sitting at a four percent. Oh. Oh, dude i finally got the yellow i was just talking about i was missing it i finally got the yellow oh boy another ancient icon you know i'd really love a venator shard at this point <laughs> please uh i got spoon fed the first two venator shards under 100 kc and now i'm about to hit 400 kc it's almost it's been over 300 kills Without seeing a single shard. It's only a 1 in 100. Come on, please. <laughs> Show me the money. Oh, and there's 400 KC. Nice little milestone there. Still, still dry. I should, at this point, have four Venator shards. I only have two. 
it's a bit of a struggle, but you know, we're we're here, we're doing it. <laughs> it's about the journey, not the destination, fellas. Keep that in mind. Good luck, fellas. Wait. What the hell is this? Three dragon fruit tree seeds? It's over half a mil? What the hell? Oh, thank God. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. Oh, it's over 10 mil now, too, so it's a pretty beam. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to go, like, 400 dry. I thought I was going to get all the way to 500 KC without seeing another one. Let's go, dude. Oh, finally. I was actually so pissed I just got those dragon fruit seeds because it's like a one, or I guess it's a two in like 1800. So it's like a one in 900. <laughs> and I can't even hit a one in 100 Venator shard. It is one in 100, right? Look it up real quick. Yeah, it's only a one in 100. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Three out of five. Uh, and technically, technically, we do have one uh, in group storage that my buddy Taking got, but I, I really don't want to use that one. I, I know I could, and to be fair, I probably will just to make the Venator bow earlier. One of my friends really loves the Whisperer, so that would help him out a lot, but I'm, I'm getting five of my own shards. It, Phantom Muspa would feel incomplete without it, you know what I mean? Good job. You just steal my pots, you son of a bitch, dude. You're a little loot goblin. Fuck. With that death animation, that brings us to 500 KC. By the way, one of the longest trips I've ever had at Muspa. There's so many things on the ground. That I just can't pick up. I mean, I guess it's all just resources. I got all of the real drops. But um, yeah, with that, I'm going to call it an episode. It's been uh, a long episode. We'll take a look at the stats here in a sec after I tell you out to safety. Um, hopefully, the actual episode is shorter than the previous one. <laughs> but a lot has been accomplished in this episode. Let me tell you. So ironically, uh, this episode actually has more <laughs> hours played than the previous episode. We're sitting at 181 hours for this episode. We ended up getting, what, seven total levels. We ended up getting, what is that, like 14 collection logs? That is awesome. We ended up getting over 10 uh, combat tasks. We lost our quest cape, which kind of sucks. That's just because a new quest came out, Defender of Varrock or whatever it is. Uh, we'll do that at like the start of the next episode. Uh, we ended up gaining just a little bit of a combat level, not a whole combat level. But uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic episode. I've had a lot of fun. I got the rarest drop of my entire account's career in the uh, minion drop at Armadil. I ended up getting my first top uh, purple. And I actually ended up learning Tob in this episode. I went from last episode, I don't think I was really getting... I think I got one Deathless Clear last episode, and now I'm just consistently getting Deathless Clears. I'm, I still have potions at the end of Tob, so I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, I'm just really enjoying RuneScape right now, so we're going to keep on trucking. You know, we got... Well, well, we got that new continent coming out pretty soon, and that's going to have a whole bunch of new content with it. So uh, I'm excited for the future of this account. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Hit that bell notification. Let me know that you appreciate the episodes. Um, thanks, guys. I love you. See you later.